What's happening, people? Welcome back to the Isolation Rat Cave. It's Ratsy here for DJ Kit, and it's a big one from me today because Newmark have announced not one, but two new Mixtrack controllers the Mixtrack Platinum FX and the Mixtrack Pro FX. Now, big up to Newmark. They've sent me both of the controllers ahead of the announcement to take a little look at and shoot a little video for you guys. Uh, in this video here, I'm going to be looking through the Mixtrack. Pro effects and like I like to do when a new controller comes out I'm going to start with an unboxing uh, so you can see exactly what you get when you buy the controller uh, and then I'm going to go through a little uh, review and demo video. So without further ado let's get into it. So as you can see I've got the Mixtrack Pro effects here um, fresh out the box let's get it open and see what you get. Okay, controller and little care package. So first things first then, let's have a look to see what cabling and stuff comes with the controller. Um, USB cable from your controller into your laptop. Now these controllers are Serato uh, controllers, so they work with Serato DJ Lite or Serato DJ Pro. Um, so that's all you need really. They are powered by uh, the laptop, so no need for a, a plug, a power plug. It is powered by this USB cable into your laptop. Um, also, some new mark stickers, your user guide or manual, a few easy steps on um, how to register and, and download uh, Serato with the controller, and safety instructions. So that's in your little um, care package there. Now let's take a look at the controller itself. Very well um, packaged, safely packaged, so when it comes to you it's not damaged. All wrapped up. And there it is. What a beaut! So <laughs> one of my favourite parts of unboxing these, uh, these controllers is the satisfying rip of taking uh, taking off that protective uh, film over the jog wheels. So right, let's get rid of this, um, all of this packaging and stuff, get this plugged into my laptop and take a look at what it can do. Right then guys, here it is, the new Mark Mixtrack Pro FX. Now I've got this plugged into Serato DJ Lite at the moment. Uh, it does work with DJ Pro, but I'll get onto that later on. Uh, it's so simple to get DJ Lite. What you have to do, once you've got your controller, you register uh, this controller at newmark.com forward slash register. Then uh, go to Serato's website, serato.com, download uh, Serato DJ Lite, then install DJ Lite. There's instructions on how to install it. Uh, and then basically you plug your controller into your laptop and you're ready to mix. Now the great thing about these new Newmark controllers is that they are class compliant with audio. So what that means is normally uh, with some DJ controllers, well most DJ controllers these days really, particularly when you're using them with a MacBook like I am, you have to download drivers and install all like some, some bits and bobs to like get the uh, controller to actually work with your laptop. Not with these Newmark controllers, you plug them straight in and you are literally ready to mix there and then. So the first real thing that kind of stands out for me about this controller is the size of the jog wheels. Now, these are six inch jog wheels, which are some of the biggest that I've seen on a controller, a kind of entry level controller around this price point. Um, also, you've got this line here, which is typical uh, for kind of scratch DJs to see, um, to, to drop their like samples completely like so, so they know where their samples are and stuff. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the layout of the mixer, but I'll come on to that in a minute. Um, so six inch jog wheels, fully touch capacitive. So, uh, you know, you can, you can scratch them on, on them and everything. Um, and then moving over, this is another thing which uh, makes this controller stand out is the pitch slider here is 100 millimeters. So again, I think that's probably the biggest pitch slider that I've seen on a controller around this price point as well. Just underneath the pitch slider here, you've got the pitch bend. So where you can obviously speed up or slow down your tune 
by nudging the side of the jog wheel like that, or you can literally press these buttons, uh, plus to go a bit faster, minus to slow your tune down, uh, which is uh, another way to mix if you're not that keen on jogging the jog wheel like that. Uh, and then like any other kind of DJ controller these days, if you hold shift, uh, these red bits here are the secondary options of all the buttons. So hold shift and you've got the pitch range on the minus or hold shift and you've got the key lock, uh, turning on the key lock on and off on the plus there. Now here you've got your scratch button. So whether or not you wanna turn like the scratch mode on or off on the actual jog wheel itself. So with the scratch mode on, you can literally play, uh, when you touch the top of the jog wheel, it acts like a, like a vinyl. Uh, if you take that off, it, it slows, uh, slows the tune down or speeds it up. Whereas with it on, it literally goes around like a vinyl like that. So down here in the bottom right hand corner, you've got your instant loop section. So to uh, trigger a loop, all you do is just click this loop button here. Uh, and then you can make the loop twice as big by pressing that button or half the loop by pressing that button. Uh, the secondary function of this, so when you hold shift, it's re-loop. So what it will do is go back to whichever last loop you've uh, had in, no matter where you are in the tune. And the shift and these buttons down here are a manual loop. So you can literally put your loop in there and then put your loop out there. And then that'll be the loop which is playing within Serato. So now onto the performance pads here. Now there are four performance modes on here. Uh, what I should say when you're using this with Serato Lite, it is only the top four pads up here which uh, control the performance modes. Um, so you've got Q, which is uh, in certain hot cues, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Go through your tune. If you find a point that you want to start a hot cue on, you press uh, the one of the pads which aren't lit up. The pads that are lit up are the pads which already have hot cues on them. So I've uh, already put some in here. Um, so, and then to delete the hot cues, you just press shift and press the pad that deletes it. Um, so then the auto loop function. So the auto loop function here, what that does is uh, each of these four pads are a different size of a loop within Serato. Starting on a one beat loop here, two beat there, four there and eight there. But it's worth to note as well, when you do have this auto loop on, what you can always do is go back down here and double the loop or half the loop using these two buttons, which I mentioned earlier. So the third performance mode here, now this is unique to these new Newmark controllers, the fader cut function. So what this does is each of these uh, buttons above here uh, perform a transform kind of scratch. So it basically very quickly cuts the audio in and out as if you were doing it on a crossfader. So I will just show you a little example of this here. So I've got a scratch uh, sample on a loop. Uh, so the first uh, pad here is a one click flare. As you can hear there. The second one is a two click flare. Then the third is a three click flare. And the fourth is a four click flare, otherwise known as a crab. So that can be great fun uh, applying that to whilst you're playing on the jog wheel. It basically uh, does advanced um, crossfader like cuts uh, at the push of a button. Now the fourth performance pad is the sampler. So basically you put your samples within Serato and then these four pads along here will trigger the sample for you. So obviously these performance modes are copied uh, for each deck, but uh, let's go over here now and look at the bottom pads over this side instead. So what stutter does is it repeats or like stutters the sample when uh, the pad is repeatedly tapped. So then this is like oh, quite, quite universal kind of logos here. So you've got previous track, which uh, flicks through your uh, Serato library, or then the um, search backwards and search forwards, which searches through the track. So as I mentioned, I'm currently using this Mixtrack Pro FX with Serato DJ Lite. However, if you're using this with Serato DJ Pro, you actually get double the pad effects down here. So you get all eight pads down here are hot cues, 
You get uh, all eight pads for auto loops, uh, so they get bigger, obviously, as you go on. You get more fader cuts, so you get um, more fader cuts on the four pads down the bottom, and you get four more samples as well. So again, when you're using this with DJ Pro, um, you get access to all eight pads for the performance modes up here. In DJ Lite, it is only the top four. Then to the left of the performance pads, you've got your Q button, your play button, and your sync button, and then shift turns the sync off. So sync on, shift, sync off. Now, I just wanna say at this point, uh, you might notice like other people with uh, Newmark controllers or have had Newmark controllers in the past, they are completely symmetrical. So that would mean like the uh, Q and the play buttons uh, would both be on the inside here and the loop in function would be out here. So imagine a mirror going down the middle, they would be completely symmetrical. On these new Newmark mix track controllers, they aren't symmetrical, which for me is such a good touch because this is the typical uh, amongst other controllers and higher end sort of standalone units and stuff. Uh, so if you're playing or learning on this controller and then you go and play on something higher end, let's say, you won't then be sort of going over here or over here uh, and, and mistaking where the Q and the play button is. So massive thumbs up from me to Newmark on, um, on taking away that symmetry on this controller. So on the top left of the left hand deck, that is your mic control. This controller has one microphone input and it is a quarter inch jack on the back. Then on the top right of the right deck, this is your master volume. So now then let's move on to the mixer section. Now, for those of you that are kind of up to speed with your Newmark products, this might look a little bit familiar to you. For me, this looks just like the Newmark Scratch mixer. So, you know, first thing that stands out is the paddles here which you see on a lot of high-end DJ controllers, high-end battle scratch mixers. So it's really great that they've brought this in to an entry-level DJ controller, such as this Mixtrack Pro FX. So let's take a look at the effects section then. So this Mixtrack Pro FX has got six effects up here, and they are triggered by using the paddles. So uh, I'll take you through them. So the first effect, the high-pass filter. Uh, you turn it on, like I say, by pressing the paddle up, it's locking the effect, or you can one-shot it by just pulling it down, as you can see. And then you can control the dry and the wet of the effect up the top here. So lock it on like that. So that's the high pass filter. Now the low pass filter. The flanger, which again, you control the dry and the wet here, but uh, there's also a beat button here as well, which um, controls the size of the effect. So with a flanger, I always think it sounds better when you've got it on a, a longer or larger beat. So that's the flanger effect, then you've got echo. Again, just taking the beats down there, the size of the effect. Uh, you've got reverb. And finally, the phaser. So, again, turn it on, that's to keep the effect on, or then you can one-shot it so an echo would be good for a one shot. So really nice touch there with the paddles. Like I say, that's a feature which you don't see on these entry level controllers. That's more common on a like, more expensive, higher end battle scratch controller. So again, a, a nod to what I said at the beginning of this video about having this kind of scratch line here. Uh, this controller with the large jog wheels as well would be an ideal entry-level controller to learn how to scratch on, especially again with that fader cuts button. So at the top of the mixer here, you've got your browsing knob. 
Um, and then your load buttons, where if you double tap, that does a uh, instant double. Instant doubles means uh, it loads the same tune to both the channels at the same time. Um, so yeah, really nice to have a browsing knob on here. Uh, keeps you uh, from sort of having your head stuck in your laptop, which is fantastic. You've got a tap button here, which if your tune isn't um, completely, if your effects aren't in time with the tune for any reason, you can tap the um, button there to the beat of the tune so your effects sound bang on. Um, now moving down, you've got your uh, headphone cue here, which is the headphone uh, volume. And then you've got the whether or not you want uh, completely uh, headphone, just listening to the headphones or um, listening to the mix, which is coming out of the speakers. And then obviously your two headphone cue buttons here. So above the volume faders here, you've got your filter knobs. Now, again, so you've obviously got high pass and low pass filter up here in the Serato effects, but this does a bit of both. Obviously one of them for each channel. Then above the filter, you've got three band EQ. Uh, so just for people that don't know very, very quickly, three band EQ, the bottom is the bass. So if I take all the bass out, as you can hear, all the bass is gone. The mid is the mid range, turn it down, or of course you can turn it up. And the top is the treble, turn it down, turn it up. And at the top here is the level, which is uh, like the gain, kind of like uh, the volume of the track. Finally, in the mixer section, you've obviously got your crossfader down here, which takes you uh, from channel one, listening to channel one all the way over there, or channel two all the way over there. Now, it's worth saying as well, within Serato, uh, you can change the curve of the crossfader, which means you can either have it on a kind of blend like that, or if you want to scratch with it, you have it on a very tight crossfader, so just a little bit of the tune comes through um, when you've got a tight cut here. So as I said at the start of the video, uh, this controller is USB powered. So it doesn't require any power like to, to a wall, any kind of current power. It is powered by the laptop, which is uh, in the USB here. This is where you come out and into your laptop. And then the output out here is a single RCA master out. So no booth on this, no XLR on this, just a single master um, RCA master output. Also on the front of the unit, you've got dual headphones. So you've got a quarter inch jack or a 3.5. So there you have it then guys. That is the brand new Newmark Mixtrack Pro FX DJ controller. Um, so massive fan of the, of the larger jog wheels, massive fan of the um, large pitch faders. Although I do like a click in the middle, which, uh, which this doesn't have on. So that's a little bit of a shame, but you know, such a touch to have such a big uh, pitch fader on such a small controller. Um, also, leaps and bounds with the mixer. Like I said, you know, this kind of emulates the new Mark Scratch mixer. Um, six different effects on it. Uh, they are different effects to the new Mark Scratch, but still all in the same place. And the paddles are a wicked touch as well. Uh, to be fair, this whole kind of controller is a massive nod to like scratch, entry level scratch DJs. Uh, you know, with like the scratch line on the jog wheel, the paddles and like the battle style kind of mixer layout. And then also that wicked fader cuts performance mode, which would be great for, you know, not only sort of emulating a scratch, but um, doing a scratch and then you know, pressing the button to, to do the scratch, I mean, and then trying to copy it yourself. So uh, yeah, wicked controller from Newmark. Um, very, very impressed. So yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, share the video, subscribe to the DJ Kit channel as well, because there's plenty of other videos on there. And uh, until next time, stay safe and I'll catch you soon. Peace.